back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Jordan and I make fashion, beauty, lifestyle um, videos and sometimes I talk about motherhood because I have a beautiful six year old little boy. So if you are new here, thank you so much for joining us. Um, today we are doing a Sephora haul. But before we get started, please go ahead, pop down right there, hit that subscribe button if you're interested in those kind of videos. Um, and yeah, let's get started. So I have been so into skincare lately and just making sure that my skin is on point, hydrated, moisturized, like all the things. Um, and so I found that I have not been wearing makeup as much. I am today, obviously, because I'm filming, but like I found that I have not been wearing makeup as much and I have been using a lot of skincare. So I have a pretty big haul today. And we're gonna go through everything that I've been buying from Sephora because it's it was bad. It was it was bad. But so bad to the point that like you know it's bad when they don't have a bag big enough for you. Like they gave me like the black bag because the other bag didn't really work out. So yeah. So I put everything in this Chanel beauty box here and we're gonna go through everything that I've been getting that I have gotten from Sephora. So the first thing um, I did not buy, my boyfriend bought, which is the Forever Mood Matcha Business Candle. And it's currently burning right now. This is the box. It smells absolutely incredible. Um, the top notes are hazelnut coffee, almond milk, honey, and then the heart notes are your coffee and lavender, and the base is vanilla. It was just like, these are all of my favorite scents together i love coffee i love hazelnut like all these things i love them together and in the candle it smells amazing it is a sweet um warm fragrance warm scent so if you like that kind of thing then you'll like this candle to me this one's probably my favorite and like i went back in i smelled some of the other ones um this one's probably it's probably my fave so love that um i was so happy it came in the mail and i was like oh Oh my God, oh my God, he got it for me, thank you so much. <laughs> um, so yeah, super happy about that. I love that candle. I've burned now probably like half of it, so I'm gonna have to replace it pretty soon. But it smells amazing, I love that one. Okay, up next we have the Ola Henriksen True Serum. Um, this is the Banana Bright Vitamin C Serum. It has 15% vitamin C. 5% um, PHAs and hyaluronic acid in it. Um, this is a really great vitamin C serum in the morning. But, like, but it's always for me, it's anything that is brightening, fights hyperpigmentation, um, and is hydrating and helps to shrink pores. For me, those are the things that are like most important. Um, and so I love using a vitamin C serum in the morning um, to get my day going and to keep me bright and, um, you know, glowing throughout the day. So this one has been great. I have used a Drunk Elephant one before. Um, I liked it, um, but I just didn't feel like it wasn't worth the price for me. It was not worth the price. And I think this one was like $60 or something, either 50 or 60 bucks. And it's a good size. You don't have to use a whole lot. I use like a pump and a half, um, if that, and you know, put this on in the morning. So I love this, amazing, amazing. So the next thing that I bought, I got this one um, probably two months ago. This is the Paula's Choice Exfoliate. Um, it has 2% um, liquid BHAs that salicylic acid in it, and so salic, salic like acid say that three times fast um it can it fights the oil helps you see them control so oil controlling your face um my nose gets really congested so i have to be very conscious of that my nose and like my chin can get really congested um and so this has been a game changer i do really like this i just bought a different one um so we'll see this is pretty much gone but i like that this works really well and it's not super expensive this little mini guy was like 10 bucks so you don't have to get the big one to, you know this is ten dollars it's it's been great Okay, um, before we do that, let's do the next thing. 
So the next thing that I purchased was the Ola Henriksen Truth Banana Bright Eye Cream. Um, it is a vitamin C and collagen boosted eye cream. Um, I know every some people say like, oh, like an ice cream is just like, you know, an overpriced moisturizer, which could be true. Um, but I really like this one. It's It's been great. Um, I'm 26 now. I'm sorry, my phone got beeping. So for me, I'm 26. I My eyes can, under eyes can get dark if they are not hydrated. Um, and so like I said, I'm all about vitamin C, you know, fighting hyperpigmentation. Hyper um, so I definitely use an eye cream. You can use your moisturizer there if you want. That's up to you. Um, I don't mind this so you know maybe down the line maybe I will only use a moisturizer but for me right now I'm really enjoying this banana bright eye cream um whenever I use an eye cream I go underneath and then I also go on the top like I said at my the tops of the lids of my eyes are darker um and so I'm always trying to fight um against that and just making sure that my complexion is all even toned so I love this so far this has been really great and I've been using this for a little bit my hands are ashy I've been using this for a little bit now and I haven't even like barely barely used it so there's that okay um up next we're gonna do our products the products that I purchased from the ordinary so this one I actually just picked up this is the alpha arbutin um, has two percent um, of that and then also hyaluronic acid um, yeah so this helps with hyperpigmentation this helps with um, you know the same things I'm talking about hyperpigmentation hyper evening out skin tone um, so I've used this once or twice um, I want to say this was like it wasn't even $12 so this is a great little acid I would cocktail this one with the um, not the, 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 the niacinamide this baby right here I use this all the time I use this all the time um, if I'm getting ready to I use this both in the morning and at night um, so this one just helps anything that you're gonna put on top of your skin any other uh, moisturizers or you know hydrating things use this first it's just gonna help it to soak in um, and really get that additional hydration into the skin so I love this I've been using this one um, for a little bit now for a little bit and like I said this one wasn't super expensive either the ordinary does great at providing you um, quality products at a low cost so I think that you know that part's really great it really makes skincare affordable because a lot of times this stuff can seem so out of reach and out of touch for so many people um, but it is so necessary to you know make sure your skin is looking good so I love this one I would say I've used this one uh, definitely more than the other one because I just picked that one up a couple days ago um, but I will cocktail these two together at night for my night serum um, so yeah there's that um, staying with the serums, I also picked up the Pharmacy Honeymoon Glow. I heard about this um, from a couple different YouTubers that I've influenced that I've, I've, I've that I have been watching, um, and I also just like I told you guys, I'm an avid researcher. So if I buy something, trust and believe that I have like researched everything on it <laughs> um, before I tried it out because this one was like fifty, sixty dollars, and for me to spend sixty dollars on a serum, I was like, ooh. Let me just, let me make sure that it's going to do what it says it's going to do. So this is the AHA Resurfacing Night Serum with Hydrating Honey and Gentle um, Flower Acids. I have used this a couple of times. It does what it says it is going to do. When I use this, anything that says resurfacing for me, I never put, um, I never exfoliate prior to. So this one and this one, these two together, I would not use. So I wouldn't use anything else that has that salicylic acid in it or any other micro exfoliant. I don't want to do too much. So if I'm going to use this at night, which I do between two to three times a week, um, I would skip the exfoliation, which I exfoliate, try to do an exfoliate in the morning and at night, but I would skip that for the resurfacing products that, you know, are in, ingredients that are in here. Um, just to make sure that I'm not doing too much on my skin but this is the packaging I think it's very pretty the pharmacy did a really good job at that don't mind my nails I gotta get them done today um, so that's that's that okay so up next we have the 
Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. Hydrating um, for glowing radiance. This one's really nice. I'm going to show you guys. I don't know if you can see this little like. Y'all see how light that is? Like, I like this. I like this. I like that I have it. I like that I can use this to set my makeup with. I like that I can use this to um, just, you know, if I need a mist in the morning before I go in and do skincare, I just want a little, you know, wake up. I use this. Um, I would say I would like a different mister. I would like a different mister. I feel like the mister is too high powered for this. I would just want this to be a spray. Like just a spray. It doesn't need to, it doesn't need to do this ultra fine because what happens is you don't feel like you've sprayed. So you end up like spraying more. Um, and so for me, I feel like that's a waste of product. So I'm trying to learn to just kind of do the one and just kind of like, you know, hey, did I get it? Did I get it? You know? Um, but yeah, I feel like with this, it's great. I like it. Um, I'm not gonna say it's great. It's good. I like it. I probably wouldn't repurchase this because that mister is just kind of like not my favorite. Um, I do like the smell. This has hyaluronic acid in it too, I do believe. But yeah, it's been good. Um, you can see how much I have used so far. I think the packaging is really cute. But that mister needs to be different. I think they could do a better job with because that is like the the thing. It almost gives you like a like a hairspray kind of a mist. Like it's very soft, you know. So there's that. Um, that is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. Okay, so up next, um, I got two things. I got the, you guys know, if you watched the other video that I did in my little like nighttime skincare routine, you would have seen the Laneige Moisture um, cream, the water bank moisture cream. I love this stuff. I love a water cream. Um, for me, that just does so well on the skin. I'm gonna put some of this on my hands. My hands is ashy. Sorry. Um, yeah, I love that. So this one is like 30 bucks. Sorry, y'all. My hands is too dry. I can't keep being in the camera and y'all seeing my hands like this. I'm gonna use something else in a minute though. Um, so this is, this is that. I think it's a good size. You don't need a whole lot. You guys can see the packaging there. I think it's super cute. Um, I got this initially in a, uh, my birthday set from Sephora. So that's like the first time that I got it. And when I was using it, I was like, oh, um, I used the one from Belief and I used the one from Ola Henriksen, their water cream, which was good. But to me, you know, I feel like some of these things you you know you don't need to to break the bank on and so this one for 38 dollars really honestly did the same thing um and i actually ended up enjoying this one a little bit more so i really like this one um i have i would say normal skin now i do still get a little oily sometimes um but i would say normal to oily is probably where i'm where i'm living at right now in certain spots and the other spots are dry Com combination just combination um i think most people have a combination of skin texture to be honest but um yeah you know that's kind of where i'm at i love this it, it feels really good on the skin it feels hydrating um i don't feel dry when i put it on after so there's that big fan that's probably one of my favorite things that i have okay so up next we have the dermalogica daily micro exfoliants um and this little guy i got he was like 15 bucks i heard about this through jackie Ina. she was talking about it about it as a really good um daily exfoliant so the cool thing with this is that it's a powder it's a white powder and the powder kind of comes out in the top like this and then here i'll kind of show you guys a little bit i'm not going to use it on my product though let's see can i Oh no, let's see. Eh, okay, it's not coming out. I'm not, I'm not always on Friday, to be honest with y'all. So, <laughs> um, it's a white powder that you put like in the middle of your hand and then you just take a little bit of water and it kind of becomes, I would say like a scrub. It becomes in between like a scrub and a 
cleanser is the, the the texture almost between like a, a scrub and a foaming cleanser and you kind of rub that in and then you go in and you exfoliate um i do that with my face and my neck like i said this is a very big problem area for me um my neck has always been a different color i think that's just obviously a black woman most times that's a thing um obviously too there's other factors that weigh into that but for me doing everything that i can do so there's that anyway i use it for my face and my neck if i don't use this <laughs> so it's like one or the other if i'm going to pick an exfoliant this also has salicylic acid in it um as long as some other really good ingredients that just really help to exfoliate the skin get down um it is oil um uh soluble so it'll get into your pores and cleanse out all of that additional sebum and all of that stuff so that's that love that okay so this one i haven't used yet this is the um inner free pore cleansing clay mask with super volcanic clusters i don't know how this is because i haven't even opened it yet but i picked this one up because i needed a clay mask i wanted the i think it's the umbarian or um something clay mask from origins um but they didn't have it i wanted to try that one because you guys know that i'd use the clay mask um that was in the last video where you guys saw me do the better night claim which i absolutely love but i wanted something that wasn't as extreme well it still kind of you know did the same thing it wasn't as extreme i haven't even smelled this let's see it doesn't have much of a scent so i got this one um i think it will be great i will use it and let you guys know if i like it if i don't like it um but yeah hopefully it does really good like i said i'm always into cleaning the pores out so there's that and then to go with that how cute is this I got a face mask brush um, to just help it. It's angled, as you can see. So it just really helps to get everything on nice and smooth. Um, so when I do the clay mask, I will be using this. Okay. Now for our showstoppers, because to say there are two people that i am very much so impressed with or three really when it comes to the celebrity like um or influencer style of people that are creating product um that is good because a lot of times it don't be good right um so the first one i would say is what i'm wearing right now which is skims i y'all say whatever you want about kim kardashian i don't care skims is fire it's absolutely fire and the the way that she has you know found the perfect materials um, to put together I am just I love it I have so many pieces from them it's worth the money um, they have lasted me they are stretchy they feel good on the skin they feel luxurious on the skin I love skins the next one is Jackie Ina these forever mood candles are great love this fragrance love the packaging she's done amazing shout out to her the third person is rihanna and and she's not a billionaire for no reason okay fenty skin i enjoyed the savage x fenty at two of their bras i enjoyed them i enjoyed the fenty i have the fenty uh makeup powder i have two of those i've three things from Fenty. I've tried their the Pro Filter Beauty I've, um, foundation. I've tried the, they have like a banana setting powder, which I'm using right now. Um, and then I have the matchstick that I used to contour, but I haven't, I didn't do that today. Um, and I've used the lip gloss. It was great. These products right here, game changer, absolute game changer. So I'm gonna start with the body products because um, what what happened was I went to go get two things and I ended up coming back for more. Um, this is the Butter Drop um, Whipped Oil Body Cream, and it doesn't have it has the same fragrance that everything else has, which isn't that strong to me. Other people are like, "Oh my God, there's so much fragrance," and I'm like, "Have y'all smelled?" the La Mer creams and the Dior body creams and the Chanel creams and and and, and facial so I'm like who is saying this because fragrance isn't everything first of all secondly what world are y'all living in where you, it, because to me I'm like okay 
the people that I'm hearing are, that are saying this are like experts, you know, or people who, who not even experts, but people who do skincare, who have skincare products, who use high end skincare products. So I'm like, mm, no, don't come from a girl because these, the fragrance in this smells good, but it doesn't smell overpowering in the way that I have smelled, you know, a lot of other brands have overpowering scents. That's that rant. This, this is what it looks like. I'm gonna just do a little bit. I'm gonna do a little bit. I told you my hands are ashy and we was gonna do this on camera. Okay. So, y'all see how dry my hands are? Look at this. Y'all see that? Incredible. Worth every dollar. It feels so good on the skin. It feels so luxurious. It doesn't, it's not oily though. You don't feel oily like you would feel, um, with like a shea butter or something it's not that it's not oily it's hydrating and almost like a silicone or something is in here i don't know but it, that's what it feels yeah. like love that so that's that one um the next thing i purchased was the fat water which i have been obsessed with um this will def i will rebound all of these but this will, will definitely be one of the ones that i get this fat water is a toner and a serum in one. Um, so it just has extra ingredients. I would say it works like an essence, but I do use this um, after I uh, cleanse my face. Um, instantly refines the look of pores, reduces the look of dark spots, and even skin tone over time, and fights shine without stripping the skin. Love this, feels great. Pour it in my hand, all over the face. Don't need a cotton pad, amazing. Love this. <sighs> this little baby. This is the Instant Reset Overnight Recovery Gel Cream. This feels so good. It comes with a little scooper out thing. It's smaller than I think I initially thought it would be, but it has been amazing. And this is the inside there. And then the inside is refillable. So you keep this, this little container and then you get um, inserts with I think at $36. And initially this one was 40. Um, like I said, I love a gel cream. I love a water-based cream. For overnight, this feels perfect. It doesn't feel like it's too much. I wake up with a beautiful glow. Um, you guys have seen in some other vlogs. If you take a look at, at um, I think it, one of the other, if you take a look at some of my vlogs, you'll see my skin in the morning. There's nothing on my face. It's just this um, from the night before. It's my skincare from the night before. And this is what is sitting on top. And my skin feels so hydrated, so moisturized. It doesn't feel stripped. It doesn't feel um, dry or like I need to, I don't like heavy, I don't need heavy thick creams on my face. I will, it'll just clog my pores. This one is absolutely incredible. I love this. This will be something I continue to use until the end of time. Um, finally, I went back and picked up the Buff Rider. This is their body um, exfoliating body scrub and all of this just has really good ingredients the ingredients that she uses in this in her products are are, are amazing um, some obviously it's you know not 100% natural but they're clean ingredients um, this is good this is the only thing I would say you don't need you don't need this one the the but the butter drop I love the fat water I love and that um, overnight instant recovery cream love that instant reset I believe it's called this is great i use this in the shower so normally i'll take obviously between like one to two showers per day on that second shower like if i've been out all day and i'll come home i'm gonna take a shower for a bed i'll use this in the morning when i get up i'm gonna do like a whole full scrub i'm gonna use my glove i'm gonna exfoliate i'm in there to get the job done i really honestly don't need this but in, at nighttime, if i'm gonna do like a simple little scrub i'm gonna just you know hit the main things get in the shower i'm gonna go all over my body with this um and just kind of it's a gentle scrub it's not heavy it's not super crazy i was expecting it to be like a scrub it's not that but that's just what i like which is why i also use an exfoliating glove um uh, but this paired with this after is beautiful these two together are absolutely absolutely beautiful i love 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 the fenty um skin line i am just i'm obsessed i will continue to buy these if she ever stops i will be distraught because this is incredible that fat water isn't these i think yeah these these two are my are like my favorites obsessed my battery's about to die thank you guys for watching i love you so much 
come back for more more videos every tuesday and thursday and vlogs on sunday love you guys i will talk to you soon bye